welcome back to another exciting edition of the Doug McConey vlog. I am in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I am here for three days, two days, three days. I'm here for a couple of days for a client conference. This week, we're gonna sit down with Barb Bukovac, the vice chair of our central region to get some of her perspectives on leadership. Let's get this week going. Shall we? Thank you. Good morning. So it's day one of our consumer market and industrial products tax executive roundtable. We're doing a scaled down version of Hollywood Squares. You guys have already seen that. Um, we don't have the set and everything, but uh, we're gonna do something similar. We'll see how it works. Apparently I beat everybody to breakfast. All right, so this is a scaled down version of Hollywood Squares, but even though it's scaled down, we still have Kate here. <laughs> All right, Barb Bukovac is back on the Doug McConey vlog for right. season two. Yeah. Barb, you've made it. Thanks, Doug. You were, I think, on several episodes mm -hmm. of season one. When we chatted last time, it was in Geneva. Mm -hmm. You had started your new role as the vice chairman yes. of the Mid-Central Regents, yes. one of our four regional vice chairs. What are the, some of the challenges that you've had and faced as okay. a leader in a new role? What was really challenging, actually, about taking on this role was that I could make it what I wanted to make it. Um, it, it wasn't, you know, described in terms of you need to do this, you need to do that, other than it's 100% about clients. And that is the piece of it that I absolutely love. When I first started the role, um, I was basically told that, you know, I should figure out what I want to be known for. And, and how I really want to, you know, bring this role to life. Great question for any leader. In, and in um, and so, so that's what I did. I, I really tried to take stock of what others had done. Um, and then what I did was I actually just kind of sat back and listened a little bit, really trying to figure out how I could add value, um, how I could add some of my experience to help the team be more successful. I think what you described could also apply to an associate who's becoming a senior, mm -hmm. a senior that is becoming a manager, yeah. right? I mean, first of all, stay focused on the customer, right? And that's even outside yeah. any type of business. Focus on the customer yeah. and, that, and that's where you started. Mm -hmm. Take stock, look around, ask questions, understand what that new position is supposed to be because even right. though you've seen it, even though you've talked to the, the people um, that had that role prior, you still need to, to take stock for yourself and figure out how you want to shape that. And I think that people at any level could, could, could learn from that. Absolutely. We were flying from Denver to Chicago and there's weather in Chicago. They couldn't get to Chicago. They landed in Rochester, Minnesota, and when we get here they say, there's no hotels available, the flight will leave at 10 o'clock in the morning, and we're effectively, me and all these passengers, are effectively stuck here until we leave tomorrow at 10. Good news is, I called the airlines, I'm on the 6 a.m. out of here, and I did find a hotel, it's just 30 miles away, but better than sleeping in the terminal. It's not so glamorous. Huh? Broadmoor was nice though, wasn't it? I convinced my Uber driver to pick me up at uh, 6 o'clock, or for my 6 o'clock flight at 4.30 in the morning. So, uh, um, I need to find my room. 106. I found my room. It's 11 o'clock. The Uber driver said, if I call him at 4, he'll come pick me up at 4.30. I'm gonna try to sleep for a few hours. All right, it's 4.30 in the morning. I'm gonna go get Eric. It's four. 
All right, it's 4.30 in the morning. My Uber driver's apparently on his way back to pick me up and we're racing to the airport for a flight in an hour and a half. <laughs>